Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Waterwise and welcome back to From the Depths, where we're looking at quite an ugly little X-shaped raft here. Uh, geez, it reminds me of another ugly thing that is, uh, starts with X, and in fact that's the whole name of the thing these days. Thanks Elon. Anyway, not sure where that came from. Uh, I had someone ask on the channel for a satellite guide, and I have made a space vehicle guide about three years ago. I don't remember how up-to-date that still is, so we're going to put this thing into space as demonstration purposes, and we're going to talk about satellites as we do it. So, to start off with, I just remembered that I need to move the chair over there because one of the reasons I want to do this uh, here and now and today is because we're going to use breadboard, just because. Like, putting something to space that can control its own movement properly is one of those things that if you don't know how to do it, it's friggin' impossible, uh, but if you do know how to do it, it's pretty straightforward, thank goodness. It would suck if even if you knew how to do it, it would be really hard. So first things first, uh, for moving in space you have two options. You can, I think, yeah, two options. You can go with ion engines or you can use steam jets. Today we're going to use ion engines because it's much uh, cheaper and simpler and we already have a uh, engine on this. So to start off with, we're just going to put propulsion in all directions, because uh, one thing that um, I found with putting things in space, they really knew, do need to have fine control in all directions. If they do not have that, uh, you might have trouble. So here, just remembering where everything is, excuse you, and we're going to turn that off. And this is going to be strafing thrusters, which is very useful. I don't use hover movement enough, uh, but once uh, once you start, you yeah, can't stop. So we go forward and back. We're going to have your like so. And what else? What else? We have. Oh yes, we also need pitch and roll. So there is pitch, and here. There's going to be roll, like, whoops, nope, like so, just have thrusters pointing in all directions. And I guess we can do something like this, just for giggles, or pushy-pushy. And roll doesn't automatically set itself, so you got to do something like this. Roller, roller, and that should be all good in the neighborhood. We also need up thruster so we're just going to do something like this where are we going to put it we're going to put it whoops we're going to put it like so gotta set these to be up control c control v very useful and we've also got two pointing down just because um uh, you do want the thing to be able to control its altitude exactly, and that means thrust up and down. If you do not do that, you might find yourself um, slowing down and just, you know, drifting up into space. Uh, because there is a point, uh, space in From the Depths starts at around... It starts transitioning to uh, lower gravity and lower atmospheric density at around 500 meters, and you are absolutely in space uh, by about, mm, what is it, 800, 1000 meters? And, uh, yeah, gravity's weaker up there, so, uh, if you want to rely on gravity to pull you down to the height you want, that's a bit slow, maybe you don't want to do that. So, we've got all this all set up, all set up to the correct stuff, and there's a handy trick here, because our engine isn't super powerful, uh, and all of these things have the default, uh, output of, like, times four, uh, which means they use a lot of power, so there's a trick for setting them all at once to the thing you want. And that is to place an ACB, and then you go over here, you find propulsion components, and you don't set any condition, you don't have to. This is a temporary ACB. You set that to just 100%, hit test, delete the ACB, and magically you have set uh, the output of literally every propulsion component you have. Hopefully this should be enough to get us uh, up into the, into the space. And if not, we'll be fine. Anyway, we can just tweak it. So, here we have the breadboard, and I've covered uh, uh, breadboard PIDs before. The reason I want to do it with breadboard is that if you uh, manually place uh, PID blocks 
Or you can actually, hang on, I want to demonstrate it just with the regular AI first, because that does work. Um, so what do we want? We want hover above, and we're just going to say, well, oh, I don't know, 1,000 meters. We're just going to check all these boxes. Apparently these don't do anything. These are just, um, like, so you know. This is for yourself and anyone else looking at your craft, just to look at and think, okay, that's, that's what you can do. And the hover movement, we can do all this stuff, you blah blah blah, that's all fine, you barely need to touch this, uh, usually. And then we're just going to set it to 1000, 1000, and just 1600, terrain height prediction, and what do we got here? We're going very slowly into space. This is probably the point where we'll have to speed up the video a little bit, and, but... In lieu of that, uh, see, like, the altitude meter, once we pass 500, it's going to accelerate because of less atmospheric friction. And just like that, we've made something that uh, is in space. And because the thing can move, uh, can strafe sideways and reverse, it uh, just it hangs out in one spot. And it's very convenient. What else can we talk about? Right, so aerodynamics still kind of works in space in From the Depth, so if you really want something to go fast, uh, you do need to put slopes and uh, wedges and stuff around it. I should turn this back on. Uh, ah, see, we've sped up. We're starting to speed up a little bit, a little bit. Momentum's very good. Wait for 500. So yeah, like, if you want a speedy space plane, you do build it in roughly the same shape as, a, uh, as an atmospheric plane. It works like that. You can see, we're climbing up, climbing up. The speed is very slowly ticking up as there's just, yep, we're, we are accelerating <laughs> because there's less atmospheric uh, drag all the more time. And just like that, we have, uh, we've freaking nailed it, guys. Well done, team. And you can see there, we've reached the altitude we want and we're bobbing back down. And uh, this is quite convenient. You can turn this into a resource harvester from space, and just it's very convenient. And because there's no drag in space, you can make things go fast with a little effort. And now I want to cover the breadboard PID, because the problem with what I've just done, as per usual, is that if you turn it off, you will notice that it is now falling out of the sky. Uh, you might not want that, so we're going to turn that back on. It's actually falling out of the sky pretty quick. So now, let's go over here, and, like, the great thing is, all the what I've already done, it goes fi just fine with the breadboard. Or just the random PID, so you can go over here, you can go, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, you can go... Control... You can still use, like, uh, general purpose PIDs and stuff like that, it's all fine. Let's go over the breadboard, though, because the breadboard's good, so firstly, we want to control the altitude, so... We're going to have a constant with the altitude we want, which is 1000. We're going to have the altitude measure, because that is measuring uh, what our altitude is. And then we want a PID controller down here. We're going to plug the, our constant into the set point, And we're going to plug the process variable uh, in there, the altitude. Sorry, my flatmate's getting delivery. Not sure if you can hear that. It's probably something very fancy. And then we want to plug that into a propulsion component, or... Yeah, it is a component. I did remember. And then that's up. And just like that, um, I can turn this thing off. And we're not falling. We're still going. And because this is all set up in the right place... By the way, with any kind of craft... Lining up the propulsion with uh, the center of mass and center of drag, depending on whether you're pushing it up or forwards or sideways or whatever, that is really, really helpful because it just makes your life so much easier. It means this thing is technically not using its roll and pitch control right now, and it's being perfectly steady, beautifully balanced. But we do need to plug in the other thing. So this one is actually a bit weird. I went back and looked at my um, past bread, and I had forgotten some stuff because it's just it's funny. So we're going to have a constant of 0, and then another constant of 0, and then we're going to have an orientation input. So I'm going to put roll over there. I think people are having a party outside on a Tuesday, how dare them. And we're going to have PID controller, PID controller, and also, um, like, this is like... 
so weird. Like, you would think, and in trying to relearn this, because I use prefab so much, I literally forget how to do things. Try not to do that. Try and remember how to do things. I would have thought that, like, um, the uh, orientation would be plugged into the process variable, but plugging that into the set point seems to actually work better. I get. I don't know why that is. So, constant output of zero. And what else can we do here? And then we set that up with propulsion. And propulsion, and this will be pitch, because it's over on pitch. And this is roll, because it's over on roll. And that's actually the wrong thing. I want component. Yeah, you gotta be remember that uh, the propulsion up here is different than the propulsion down there. So confusing. Okay, pitch and roll and boop and also boop and just to test that that's working I'm going to turn this thing well it already is off and I'm just going to put a lead block over here you will see that this is going just fine going just fine and if I do the same over here with the roll Doing just fine. We're tilting. There we go. Beautiful. We have done it. We have done the thing. And now, just for fun, I want to show you the kind of shenanigans you can get up to. Um, let's uh, have you go back over there. This is like already... Um, this is fairly cheap, by the way, so I could... In fact, let's do that. Let's let's have some fun here. If you, uh, This is just for free how to make a spy satellite because that's just really cool. And what should we do? What should we do? Backspace. Do, 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 do. And the great thing about ion engines is that they also work underwater. So if for whatever reason your satellite spawns in the drink, it can get itself back out. My goodness, what fun. All right, whoops. Wait a minute, that doesn't seem right. Don't seem right at all. Actually, no, it's just fine. It is fine and dandy. And wait, no, I've covered those iron jets. No, wrong, bad, bad boy. Thankfully, you just make a hole and you're all good. I did not just make a hole. That was bad. And there we go. And now we've made the thing too heavy, so never mind. Not to worry though. Remember what I said before? There we go. We are levitating again. And I don't have to show off uh, my uh, missile thing, but I want to, so we're gonna do that. There we go. Here's a rubber thing. And here's a marauder for it to shoot at, because why not? So this thing's made of rubber just because. And yeah, you can make a quite nasty attack craft just by putting it in space. I find that, honestly, why would you make an atmospheric bomber when you can make a space bomber? And just to show you what's in here, it's nothing much. It's an AI compartment, like ammo compartment, two engines, a bunch of missiles in the middle. And yeah, spacecraft. Once you get the hang of just uh, placing your propulsion in the right place, making sure the thing can control itself in, like, every plane, and you can make something very fast and very useful, actually. Whee! Let's follow the missile down. And while we're for following the missiles down, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Happy bombing things from Space Day. That's a new holiday, I've just made it. Farewell!